Before I start this video, I just want to say that I just want someone to sponsor my video already. I hope it's ETE because I do love this phone. I hope there's some product they came out with for this phone, maybe something else. I hope they sponsor it. But without further ado, on this table, I have a video for the Z Max Pro on what sensors are actually in the phone. Because I know you get some phones like the uh, LG Stylo, Stylo 2, and a bunch of other phones where they're the same price range, but they don't include a gyro sensor where you can't take 360 images, you can't use Google Cardboard, what else? There's so much you can do, so without further ado, let's begin. So for this video, I hope it's already installed. I have installed here sensor box for Android. What it'll do is it'll test out all the sensors on the phone, see which one's actually working, and open it up. And uh, th it says so. It says, "Do you user thanks for your support for sensor box for Android?" Glad announced that we've released an announcement that uh, sensor box is formally based all on one tool's temperature sensor for OS four and above improving after the resolution. System Cleaner App Manager, Serially uh, Update, blah, 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 Join New, I really don't care, I don't want to join new. So, uh, so it's telling you what you have, I don't want to join new, back. So it's telling you what you have on the phone, I hope all these are included, so it says, Accelerometer Sensor, Light Sensor, Orientation Sensor, Proximity Sensor, Temperature Sensor, Gyroscope Sensor, Sound Sensor, Magnetic Sensor, and Pressure Sensor. So just to test that out, you know this is the crappiest Android phone, I made a video for it. What I'm going to do, because I'm using this right now as a phone for a business, for my bus for the business I run. It has my business phone number, everything. So I'm going to look up, what the, sensor online, and I'm going to get sensor uh, box for Android. I'm going to see what pops up. So as you know, this doesn't this this doesn't have anything. It doesn't have a light sensor. Doesn't have anything. So it's automatically at the brightness you set it to. It's slow. There's barely any space. What else can I say? So let's open this up. The only good thing about that was a double tap. So accelerometer sensor. So they both have accelerometer. Hardware. Hardware, LG name, LG accelerometer sensor. Now this one turned uh, B1, BMI 160 accelerometer vendor Bosch, version 1173800. So it's a little more sensitive. Power, 0.18. Maximum range, 39.2. Resolution. I assume this one's better. Graph. Data. So I'm just assuming that, that that's better now. As you can see, some of these don't have, some of these have that. Same thing with this. So the only ones that this has is temperature and pressure is the ones that's down. So my, re my reason for this one not having the temperature and pressure is because this phone isn't like a GPS where it can sense the temperature of outdoor or it's like a thermometer. Neither is this phone. No phone out there unless there's some out there so you have light sensor what it'll do is wherever the light sensor is it'll make use of that light sensor I'm going to find that light sensor so the light sensor is actually up right over here as you can see it's at 9 lux now it's at 0 lux now this sorry device that device doesn't even support it so it's showing there's now, orientation sensor, I'm going to go, so over here, this is the LTR55X ALSPRX vendor, light on, or Lydion, version 1, power 0.1, maximum range 10,000, resolution 0 0.01499939, assuming they do it because it repeats. Now, orientation sensor. Now the orientation sensor works well on both phones. Proximity sensor. Now what this will do is wherever the proximity sensor is, it'll just show because when you're making a call, 
I got a vibration. I don't even know what that was from. Okay, so you're making a call. And what you're doing is your when you make the call, you put the phone up to your ear and you block out the spot. So that's what the proximity sensor is. There's no temperature sensor. There's a gyroscope sensor, and what that allows you to do is the 360 images. So, as you can see, I'm going to go just around the sort of circle. Name. BM160, BMI160 gyroscope. Vendor, Bosch. Version 1173800. Power, 0.9. Pretty big. Maximum range. 34.906586, that's pretty high. Resolution, 0.0010, that's actually really high. And this actually is better. I've been using it to take 360 images. I was just fooling around. I took one of my living room just to see what it would... Just, just because I wanted to fool around, and I got it. Sound sensor. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, this is just a little test. Hello, this is just a little test. So. As you can tell, this device here is actually getting a really higher sensor of sound because there's more microphones around. This one actually has a high amount of microphones. Magnetic sensor. So. This one's um, power is 0.24, it's higher than 0.5. Maximum range 49111600, resolution, blah, blah, blah. So this says LGE magnometer sensor, which is actually worse. This one has AKM, magna, magna, AK09911 magnometer, AKM. That's better. Now, it doesn't. none of them have a pressure sensor, but if you're going to take a look at a... And LG, most unless you buy the really high end ones, which cost you like 600 bucks out of pocket, you're not getting much. So, well, for 100, you are getting actually all of these sensors. The temperature and pressure sensors aren't going to be there just because. But if you want to pause the video, you can pause it now and you can look at what sensors it has. Now, the temperature and pressure it doesn't have because no phone, as I said before, has it. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and enjoy. And also like the video and ZTE, I hope for a sponsor.